What is up all my geeks and gamers, TechGeek1019 here, coming at you with a tutorial. Now first of all, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos. I just really haven't had time uh, to make any videos lately. Uh, you know, with schoolwork and everything like that. But don't worry, the first video that's coming back is this one. So I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to set up a Minecraft bucket server. Some of my friends have been asking me, you know, how to set up a server. So I'm going to do a tutorial on this. That way, uh, you know, I could teach you guys and my friends. Um, so let's start. Okay, so first of all, we're going to want to start with you want to find out the IP of your computer. Um, so you're going to want to type in CMD in the start menu, open up a command line, and type ipconfig. Now it's going to go through all this stuff. Now, you're going to want to look for the IPv4 address. I'm not going to show it. Um, but it'll be in here somewhere. Look for IPv4 address. And that'll be the address. It'll be like a 192.168. Um, so keep that number in mind. Write it down if you have to. Now, go to port... Port for... Now, go to routers on the left, and you want to find the brand of your router. Mine is Action Tech, and then you're going to find, want to find the model. And... Okay, so then it'll bring you with all this stuff. You want to click on M and find Minecraft server right there. So, you're going to want to, um... Oh, nope, nope, wrong, wrong. But anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter for me since I do it. But you're going to want to go into, here we are. You're going to go, going to want to go into your thing and read this article on how to port forward. And you're going to want to port forward to 25565. Now, you just find your model number, it'll bring you tutorial, and you'll figure it out. So, the next step is to download craft bucket and what you want to do is you want to search bucket in youtube i mean google um and then you're going to want to click on craft bucket here and it'll bring you to a page that has all the downloads for craft bucket um, and you know on the right side recommended build the beta build and the development build um for me i already downloaded it i downloaded the development build that way i could run a 1.7.2 server and you could just go through here and download you know 1.6.4 whatever version of bucket you want that you want to run your minecraft server on uh so let's quit out of that and we're going to create um a new folder and we're going to name and we'll open it up we'll take our craft bucket put it in here and now what we want to do is we want to create a new text document call it run.txt up and this is a line of code this is how you're going to run the thing and it's going to be java dash x and x and this is where you put how much uh, RAM you want to dedicate to the server? So the D, so the recommended is I think 1028, and then you put M. But I like to run mine with a little bit more. That way, there's less lag. So that's two gigabytes. That's jar craft bucket dot jar dash o true. Save it. Rename it. Instead of the dot text, it's going to be a dot bat. And yeah. So there we go. And an important thing is to rename this to just craft bucket because that's what I typed in here. You could also just, um, um, 
you can uh, just copy the original name of the craft bucket thing. But this ha this name here has to match that. And okay, so now we're gonna run it. It'll open up a command prompt here, and going to add, it might ask you to lock it on the firewall. Just allow that. Just Java might not actually. Um, and it'll go through all this stuff, setting the spawn up, and there we go. So as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff here. Um, we got all this stuff, permissions, um, I could go over that, and I think I will. But anyway, the main thing is server.properties, um, you're gonna want to open it with a text editor of some sort. And this is where all this stuff is. Now, this is set to 25565. If you can't, if you're, if 25565 is being used, which it shouldn't be being used, but... I'm using it because I already have a server on 255. You can port forward to a different number, and you can change that to whatever, and I actually had to change it to two servers uh, that run on the ports. Um, so this is the banned IPs. You can ban a player by their IP, ban by their name. Uh, the bucket YML is just the... And you can change animal spawns, monster spawns, database stuff, you know, um, this kind of stuff, you know, spawn limits, general settings. Um, permissions is where you enter permissions for different things, so it'll allow people to do certain things, even if they're not opt. Whitelist is if you're whitelisting a server and you want only people on it. Um, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Ops is, you know, privileges. And plugins is something that I'm actually going to go over right now. This is just a log. Um, so let me just stop my server real quick. Just type stop. And I'm actually going to show you guys in this tutorial a good, uh, plugin called Essentials. Uh, and this is Essentials. So we're going to download Essentials real quick. And also group manager is also made by the same people as essential. Go. I'm gonna side and drag open the plugins folder and you have to take it out, put it manager.jar as well as all these essentials. I'm gonna get rid of. I'm not gonna do essentials chat. You can put it in if you want. Doesn't really matter. Um. So I have all this stuff here, and I'm gonna have to run the server again to let the plugins load their little config files. Oh, running on two five seven. There it goes. Okay. I'm gonna. Actually, I'm not going to stop this. Okay, let's go into the plugins, and we'll go over a couple things. Um, essentials. Um, this is pretty much... This has a lot of stuff in it. Um, nicknames, teleport, you know, here's a bunch of the essentials. Permissions, all the essentials. Um, uh, the main thing I want to focus on is group manager. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go over kind of just how you can give separate permissions to people that aren't opt and stuff like that. So we're going to go into groups.yml. This is all the groups that are on the server. The default is obviously the default and all the people have the command if they're not opt is the kill command. And that's pretty much it. That's all. The um, then you got the builder, moderator, admin, and owner. Uh, you can add different prefixes and suffixes. This is going to give the owner something. Um, and then you can open the users. And, you know, these, I don't know, these are just faults. You can add a new user, have this stuff in here. Uh, add them as an owner. I'm going to actually... 
as an owner on here. So I'm just gonna put myself as an owner and it'll give me privileges. I still have that open in the background, good. Okay, so let's test out our server. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do actually is go into Google and you're gonna wanna um, type in, oops, doesn't matter, these all run the same server. Um, but anyway, while this is opening, let me just explain. You're going to want to go into Google, and you're going to want to search My IP. And it'll come up with an external IP. It'll give you this external IP. Um, and that's the one you're going to want to type in for to get onto your server now. Show my external IP, because people could DDoS me. So, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, our server is up and running. I'll open it up, logging in, and there we go. We great because I'm not recording this, but it's alright. Um, so yeah, this is our server. As you um, but owner. There we go. Now I'm an owner. Hi. So there we go. Now that I'm an owner, I have all commands. Game mode, creative, you know, whatever. You can set this up. Um, and then, let me... All these commands right here on the left side um, are how you can add, like, um... I can add certain things. Um and you know, add permissions. Um like mm, There we are. Um Manu add P adds a permission to a player. Um I like to use mang add P to add a group. So like slash mang add P Uh, default uh, essentials dot tp. Yeah. So now, if you're in the default group, um, you can tp. So anybody that's not opt can not get into creative, but they can still tp if you wanted to do that. I kind of like that. Um, allowing my players to. TP, but I don't like them abusing creative. And, uh, so yeah, that's your server. And that's pretty much gonna be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like the video if this helped you. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more, you know, Minecraft gameplay. And, uh, tutorials and stuff. Um, and I'm going to be starting to make videos again for those of you that are subscribed and haven't seen a video in a while. I'm going to be starting to put videos up again because now I got this computer, I can do a lot more. Um, so thanks for watching again. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.